The Visual Communication Multimedia Program at SCC offers four classes that focus specifically on digital photography. Two of the classes offer in-depth instruction in Adobe Photoshop. And while most people have heard of Photoshop, many don't really know what it does. Here's a quick look. Here we have two images of Photoshop. We've got uh, multimedia lead instructor Cindy Burton and a close-up of some leaves and we're going to bring these two images together. First we'll use the magic wand tool and we're going to select the sky with the high tolerance so we get all that blue and then we're going to inverse so that we have only the leaves. We're going to cut and paste to get the leaves on a separate layer and then we're going to get rid of the turn off the visibility to the blue so we have the leaves floating on a separate layer now we're going to bring Cindy into the picture. I've already removed the background on her image, so she stands alone. We'll get her in there, move her around, and let's size that a little bit using the handles. Let's pull it up and make her a little larger. And we want those leaves in front of Cindy, so we're going to reshuffle our layers and put the leaves, move that to the top so we're looking down through the leaves to Cindy. That's very good. We're going to add another layer below the leaves and below Cindy, and we're going to add some color to this image. Let's put in a gradient and click and drag with the gradient tool and we've got a Y one selected but that'll be fine. So there we have the gradient behind the Cindy and the leaves layer. And we're going to add text now. Click and drag with our text tool. As we type in Cindy Burton Lead Instructor, notice that uh, that layer also is behind the leaves. No problem. We're just going to move it to the top in the pecking order and on our layers palette and there we have Cindy Burton on top. Difficult to read. Let's uh, let's go to our styles and we're going to add some things to help it. There's a we'll put a stroke on it and still a little tricky to read. We'll put in a, on a drop shadow. Uh, that gradient makes text difficult to read. Let's get a little more conservative here. We're going to select it all and put a white. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. There we brought in two images, added text, put in a gradient, and have a cool looking picture. Just some of the stuff you can do with Photoshop.